Mr. Holcomb. Well, I want to thank you so much. I, think, I want to thank all the members for allowing me to join you today and have just a moment. But I especially want to thank uh, Commission Co-Chairman Frank Wolf and Jim McGovern for convening this important hearing. I want to just take a moment to say thank you, especially to Co-Chairman Wolf, who has been uh, truly a, a mentor and hero uh, on so many issues. I worked up here 25 years ago and even then uh, looked up to you greatly and uh, see you as someone that uh, would love to have a little bit of following in your footsteps of the work that you have done here. So thank you. We appreciate you so much. I also want to commend each of the panelists testifying here today and the organizations that they represent for their tireless efforts on behalf of prisoners of conscience everywhere. I wholeheartedly support your work. This hearing presents the ideal opportunity for me to bring attention to the plight of one prisoner of conscience in particular, Zhu Yu Fu. Today I speak, uh, as I speak, Zhu Yu Fu is spending his 696th day behind the walls of the overcrowded Zhe Jing prison number four in China. An advocate for democracy, Christian dissident and poet, Zhu Yu Fu started the May 4 Monthly, a pro-democracy publication, and was elected head of the magazine. Subsequently, subsequently, he was often summoned by authorities, and his house was frequently searched. Zhu actively supported the students' democracy movement and was one of the founders of the China Democracy Party. For this, Zhu was arrested on the false charge of inciting subversion to state power, sentenced to prison, and deprived of his political rights. He is a prisoner of conscience, unable to enjoy the fundamental freedoms enshrined in the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Today, Zhu Yufu languishes in prison. He suffers from many diseases and his health is extremely poor. Prison authorities refuse to let him seek treatment or medication. According to Zhu's wife, prison regulations to relieve overcrowding permit Zhu to be eligible for community supervision or medical parole, yet prison authorities refuse to transfer him. In fact, they have explicitly denied Zhu's release on the basis that he is a political prisoner who opposes the state. Zhu is the only eligible prisoner in the entire prison who is being denied release. Zhu Yufu cannot speak for himself, so others, including myself, must advocate on his behalf. Last year, as part of the Defending Freedoms Project of the Tom Lantos Human Rights Commission, I adopted Zhu Yufu as a prisoner of conscience. Through this and similar adoptions by my colleagues in Congress, we seek to pierce the darkness and shatter the silence that has enveloped Zhu Yufu and others like him. Silence is not an option. Silence means Zhu Yufu likely will remain in prison and the government of China will elude accountability for its deplorable human rights violations. Thank you so much for this opportunity to shine a light on the plight of Zhu Yufu and for the efforts of everyone here who are raising their voices on behalf of prisoners of conscience. Thank you, Co-Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Hawken. I appreciate it.